All right, we are back for our third installment of uh, what is stainless steel and how we can reform the education levels of uh, basic information about stuff that is pretty technical regarding all types of steel, aerospace metal, and uh, different types of techniques to uh, work with that metal. My name is Michael Bennett. I am with Michelin Metals, and I'm going to turn this over to uh, Gary. We are going to discuss what is 300 series stainless steel. It is austenetic. So what is austenetic stainless steel, Gary? Uh, thanks, Mike. Again, I'm Gary Ray R at Google Plus. Um, <clears throat> iron and steel both come as a uh, form of um, a crystal structure, and it's uh, face-centered cubic or body-centered cubic. And when you uh, heat iron up really high temperature and start cooling it off, and heat steel up and start cooling it off. It shifts from one phase of austenite or body centered, face centered cubic to the other phase of, of, of body centered cubic. So basically, it's a shift in the crystalline structure of the steel. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about austenite and Martin Settig stainless steels. It's that they're slightly different crystalline shapes. And, and the difference is that Martin Settig shapes are normally when you cool steel off down below like 1100, 900 degrees, it turns from austenite into martensite. And martensite tends to be very hard and brittle because it's got a little bit of carbon and it's got the chrome in it and the crystal lattice is actually stressed. But austenite, because it's a face-centered cubic structure, is not stressed as much. So austenite uh, and, and what they do is they stuff a little bit more of alloying chemicals and uh, alloying elements into steel and iron, and they make it so that when you cool it below the normal martensite austenite phase transition temperature, that it stays austenetic. And austenetic stainless steels are normally not magnetic. Um, they're known as the 300 series steels. Uh, they've got high chromium and high nickel. And they're probably the most corrosion resistant of the stainless steels. Um, you can't work hard. They're, they're not, they're not uh, hardened by heat treatment, but they are hardened significantly by uh, work hardening and uh, cold working. Uh, austenetic stainless steels would be the kind that you might see on the outside of, um, for instance, the Chrysler building. I'm quite sure that that's an austenetic stainless steel. It's very shiny, it's very uh, corrosion resistant, and uh, it's because of all of those extra elements that have been added in that let it keep its austenetic face-centered cubic structure instead of turning into martensite. And so that's a little bit of uh, uh, basic metallurgy steel 101 today. Well, that is just great information. I am very happy that you shared that with us. It really helped explain a lot of what 300 series is and why it is 300 series in Austinetic versus Martin Setic. So guys, please turn it, tune in to the next one, which is going to be what Martin Setic steel is. That is a 400 series of stainless steel. And uh, hopefully these are going to start helping you guys out. So we look forward to uh, getting any comments or uh, questions, again, we're both found on Google+, and again, uh, Michael with Michelin Metals, and uh, Gary's our in-house metallurgist. So we really appreciate your help today, Gary. Thanks a lot. You guys have a real nice day.